Welcome back. This is Sandy with Sandy's Organized Chaos, and this is my 59th vlog. Hello. So nice to see all of you. I can't remember if I did or not, if, if I showed you guys how my kids' painted drape leopard tumblers turned out. So I'm going to do it again, because I can't remember if I did or not. <laughs> Here's Molly's. Molly's turned out. I just did a plain bottom for her. That's how that one turned out. And then here's Sadie's. I turned around here. I've been using them already. I'll buff it out. That's how Sadie's turned out. So that's that. We also talked last week about how I would like to just do ready to sell tumblers. And so I'm gonna get started on this week with you guys. These are gonna be items that I don't think I'm going to put them in my Etsy shop. I think they're just going to go right onto my website, uh, SOC Glitters. I think they're going to go right in there. I'll have like a Tumblr section. I haven't decided yet. We shall see. I don't know. I'll let you guys know for sure though. But you're going to kind of follow along and watch me make them. So like next week we'll finish them up because today um, I can only just get started on them. So I'm going to be doing three hydro dipped red, white, and blue tumblers, which is a tutorial that I did. I'll post it here. I'll do like a picture here. Here? I don't know. <laughs> and I'm also going to be doing another tutorial that I did. Um, some of you guys might not have seen that tutorial. It was a peekaboo tropical leaf tumbler. I'll put that here too. But I did that tutorial last year as well. Obviously there's, they're going to be a little bit different because I'm going to be using my glitters and, and stuff. But if you guys follow along with that tutorial, you can use the items that I used in there. It, it doesn't matter. However you guys want to make the things, it's perfectly fine. But I'm going to be using my own glitters for it. So, <laughs> And then the tropical leaf one, I might put a little twist on it. Maybe I'll put some nice outlines around the leaves this time instead of leaving them open. And I don't know about the red, white, and blue swirl hydro dip yet. I don't know if I'm going to do any type of pinstriping or something. I know you guys are really into the pinstriping. We'll see. I'll have to see how it looks because if I can make my lines clean enough, I kind of like it just how it is, but that's just me. But I want you guys to be able to know that you can, you'll be able to get these items uh, once I'm done. So, you know, but it's nice just to work on things that I want to work on. <laughs> and it's nice to know that, I'm sure it's nice for you guys to know that these items will be done. <clears throat> the only thing is if you want personalization added, obviously you're gonna have to give me, you know, an extra week so that way I can put your name on, put the epoxy on and let it cure properly. So that's the only thing, all right, okay. But I have to hurry up and go out there and, and get those uh, painted because it's been really rainy uh, here in Florida. The rainy season is back, so I only have little bits of time throughout the day because it rains probably like four times a day. It'll just downpour and then the sun comes back out, so. I gotta hurry up and get out there this morning and get those painted. So, and my coffee this morning. It's one of my, my one of my ones I bought in the past. I think I'm just gonna kind of rotate through some of my ones that I've purchased, kind of showcase again some of the things. <laughs> my husband's getting a little mad at me. Well, he's not getting mad at me, but he's we're running out of space to put our tumblers. So I gotta clean out the pantry before I can purchase more. I said so. <laughs> so I gotta make more space. All right, all right. <laughs> but I have my beautiful coffee this morning and I'm ready to wake prep and slay all day. Let's do this. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the easy ones first. I'm gonna do the Hydro Dip Red, White, and Blue. So I'm gonna start with the base for that first. And all I do with that is I'm gonna apply my glitter with the epoxy method. I haven't really, just, I think I wanna do a mix of stellar and suncatcher silver kind of give it a little bit more holographic i think that's what i'm going to do so that's all i'm going to do for this per first half here i'm going to do my my epoxy i'm going to do three of these and do my stellar first Okay, 
Move that off to the side. See, I don't know where to put it. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm gonna add some Suncatcher Silver to it too. put it on my turner and then I have to put another couple coats of epoxy over it in order to do the hydro dipping and stuff like that but we won't do that till next week so that way we'll finish that up together so I'm gonna go ahead and put that on my turner and I get the other two going for this So this next one is that tropical peekaboo tumbler. Now this had a lot of different colors in it. So I'm gonna mix it up with a bunch of different chunkies. I have Party Girl, I have LOL, it's like a yellow, I have Nemo, I have Fairy Wings, so like all neon colors. And I'm gonna fill it in here and there with some like metallic and other translucent stuff. So I got Oceanside, which is a metallic teal. Electric Love, which kind of goes along with that, so it's just a little bit darker than that, but, and then I also have some Popsicle, which kind of goes with that, so I just wanted to add some, like, tropical colors to it, so that's the colors that I'll be using. I'm going to do the same concept. I'm going to put my epoxy on, I'm going to kind of load it up a little bit more than usual, so that way all these glitters lay flat, because we're using a bunch of different glitters here. Get this one going to show you guys. And I just like to do, I have enough paper here, so <laughs> hopefully, I don't know. So I'm just gonna do like dashes of these colors around. So just dashes here and there of the color. Doesn't matter where, cause it's all gonna kinda get covered just a little bit. All right, so there's that. Add just a little bit more. This stuff so light and fluffy gets everywhere. <laughs> Move on to the next piece of paper, even though there wasn't too much on there. Add the orange. I'm just gonna do chunks. You just wanna make sure everything gets filled in. That's what we're using the fine glitters for as well, to kind of fill in here, here and there. Don't forget your bottom. No rhyme or reason. Just lay it down. go. Okay, that's good. I'm move on to the yellow. Do the same thing with the yellow. Kind of pile it in there. Make it bright and happy. Make sure I get the bottom. Okay, now some pink. Pink up in there, there we go. It'll all start to kind of melt together. This looks very happy and fun and summery. Okay, very nice. Now I'm gonna start adding some of the finer glitters to it. So this is what I have so far. See, there's still patches of that white showing through for my fine glitters. <clears throat> now I'm gonna move on to the teal for the ocean side. Let's do little sprinkles in there. I kind of like the contrast of the chunky with the fine, that's how it looks. 
and just add dashes of it here and there. That's all you want. And see how the chunkies kind of keep it off that little area there. So it just gives it even more depth and dimension. Really cool looking. Just a little bit. All right, now I'm gonna add some electric love here. Add some electric love. I'm gonna do the pour side. It makes it a little bit easier here. Again, just placing it randomly throughout. Doesn't matter. That's how it's looking. Kind of fill in your pinks if you want with it. There we go. Save that for the orange. I'm going to add the popsicle. Oops, ran out of paper. All right, that's all good. Sorry, popsicle. I'll try not to put too much of you on there. There we go. Now each one of these is going to be completely different. So each pattern is going to be obviously different than the next. All right, I think I like that. That's a great base, I think. So that's all I'm going to do for the next three ones here. And then again, we'll have to finish. I'll make sure that I already have another coat of epoxy over this so that we're ready to move on to that next step uh, next week when we go to finish these up together. All right, I'm going to get these going. spinning away I'm pretty excited about these I can't wait to show you guys I mean if you guys watch my other tutorial that I did but you'll kind of see how they turn out but it is so amazing once you apply that epoxy and all the other things that go along with it it's just so pretty and then I got these guys going that's gonna be beautiful into that hydro dip as well so there they are so there were two questions that I wanted to answer on here. Uh, the first one was from Phyllis Gast. She, well, she said happy third anniversary because it was my third anniversary of Sandy's Organized Chaos, me starting off all that. Anyways, <laughs> uh, I am so happy for you. You are an inspiration, ready for my journey because of you. Thank you. <laughs> I am trying to get Etsy uh, set up right now because as you guys know, I started on Etsy and that's where I kind of took off from there. I just, I like it because it's it's a good platform for people who don't, who want to try to get their product out there. Cause like when you have your own website, you kind of have to promote yourself and everything like that. But Etsy kind of does it all for you. That's why I liked it. So <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, <laughs> I know it's not for everybody, um, but she's starting up her Etsy shop and she said, that she's confused on the variations part. Don't prices change for the details of your tumblers. So I wanted to kind of go over that and kind of show, I told her it's just easier to show than like type it out and say it. So I'm gonna do that really quick. My shop here. And what I am going to do is I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna add a pretend listing. It'll, it'll just be easier that way. I'm gonna go into that uh, photos. Obviously you wanna put your photos. Add a little video which is very helpful so that way they can kind of see the sparkle of those tumblers and or whatever you're selling your title uh what you want to put in there i'll kind of show you another one of my listings after we're done with this your description um let's see so there's a place in here once i get down here let me keep going add variations get to add our um category first before we can do our variations so they know what they're working with here. So tumbler wine glasses, and that's gonna go into home living, kitchen, dining, drink and barware, drinkware, tumblers, and that's pretty much what I pick. Um, let's see, unit, 
fluid ounces. And then you're gonna click on right here where it says offer multiple options. Yes, we're gonna be offering multiple options because we're gonna have different sizes and styles uh, for each you know, listing. So if you're gonna do um, like multiples of one design and you wanna offer different style tumblers and sizes, that's what, you, that's what you wanna click on first right there on capacity. You wanna make sure you add variations. And so now we're gonna scroll down here and that's when you're gonna put in your variations. So in edit variations, we're going to pick price. Prices vary of each capacity. So prices are gonna vary for each capacity. So we're gonna do a 15 ounce for like a wine glass. So I'm gonna add 15, add. We're gonna say 20 ounce and we're gonna add a 30 ounce, okay? These are just you know, I'm just throwing out random stuff. That's pretty typical right there of those. So now we're gonna add our variations and I'm gonna say style, because that's what I like to call it. I didn't really like any of the other, like length, height, material, pattern. I like style, that's what I like to pick because, you know, they're all different styles. So I'm gonna pick style, okay. So I'm gonna fill in wine uh, regular and skinny. Okay, so I'm going to fill those in. Okay, wine, regular, curve, and skinny. Okay, now I'm going to say prices vary for each style because, it, you know, we don't offer a wine and a, or a wine and a 20 ounce, or maybe, I don't know, there might be a huge wine, a wine and a 30 ounce. Okay, so that's how we're going to do it. We're going to say prices uh, vary for each capacity, put in our capacity. And then prices vary for each style. Check that off and add the name of each style that you're gonna be offering. So up top is your fluid ounces, down below is the actual style of the tumbler. Okay, so I'm gonna press update. Now we're gonna come in here. And again, it's gonna be a little weird. You're gonna notice, so if your 15 ounce is gonna be your wine. So you're gonna leave that. Okay, you're gonna leave that on, but you don't have a 15 ounce and a regular curve. So what I do is I just check off the stuff that doesn't apply and then the 20, and then we're gonna turn that off. So you wanna go ahead and switch that off. And then all that will be showing when you're ready to go ahead and publish your listing will be the things that are turned on. So we're gonna turn those off. I'm gonna come down here. I don't offer a 20 ounce and the wine uh, or, but I do offer a regular curve and a skinny in the 20 ounce. So I'm gonna turn off the wine on that one. Now the 30 ounce, same thing. I don't offer a wine, so I'm gonna highlight that. It just makes it easier, especially when you're doing a bunch of different styles to highlight it so you know which one to turn off. I'm gonna switch it off. So there you go. Okay, you're gonna put your price in there. And then uh, once you're done, you should, when the customers go into your, your page, they'll see that they can choose different styles and it'll say, so 15 is this price. So let, let's say it's 35, okay? And your 20 ounces are, I don't know, 45. And your uh, 30 ounces are 55, okay? So then they'll be able to choose, well, I want the 30 ounce skinny cup and they'll be able to see the different prices and all that. So that's, that's pretty much how you do that. So there is that, I know, <laughs> it is a little confusing. It, it can be, I, I know, all right? So hopefully that helped out. If not, I'll make a video dedicated just to this portion because it is, it is a little, so that we can come back to it if you need to. All right, there we go. <laughs> you know, there was one more question that I really wanted to answer, but I, I mean, I don't want to hold you guys up or anything. <laughs> So I might hold on to this question for next week because it's a really good question and uh, I want longer to be able to answer for it. And I, like I said, I don't want to hold you guys up too much, all right? So, <laughs> but Natasha asked, congratulations, because again, she commented on my three years ago, I started my stuff here. Anyways, congratulations. Do you advise, do you have advice to share to those like me trying to get started in this business? And that is a great question. And I, you know what, I'm gonna write that down. I'm gonna put together a really good answer for you. Cause I mean, 
there's there's just so much to it. I mean, it's not just like advice or, or stuff like that, but just, you know, just being prepared and just making sure that you enjoy what you do, you know, type stuff. So I'm, I'm going to hold on to that question and I'll make sure to answer that next week because very good question. <laughs> okay. Those were already ready to come off. So I went ahead and I pulled them off and everything. So I'm pretty excited. I can't wait to finish those up with you guys and do those together and then put them up for sale. Like I said, I don't know if I'm going to do my Etsy. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. I moved on to my afternoon drink. Another pretty one that I've purchased from one of you guys out there. Chaos coordinator. It's true. Mom life. It's true. <laughs> it is their last week of school this week, so I am... I'm pretty excited. I'm really excited not having to go do the parent pickup loop for at least a couple months, you know. <laughs> Whew, it's warm in here. I think I'm going to go inside and just kind of sit and relax and enjoy the rest of my day. Well, obviously I got to put this, finish putting this together for you guys and stuff, but I do have a tutorial coming out this week, obviously. I'll try it one, two a week. I'm going to do my best, okay? As I told you guys, I promise. For sure one, two if possible. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, but I hope you enjoy the rest of your Sunday. I hope you have an amazing week, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.